teacher, hello classmates. My name is Dasha and welcome to my second quarter master review. English, ABAB rhymes. An ABAB rhyme is a, is a rhyming pattern where the last words of each pair of lines rhyme with each other. In other words, the A lines rhyme with each other and the B lines also rhyme with each other. Here is an example. It is just about time, and I can't wait. To read a rhyme, I can't be late. Do you see the, do you see the highlighted? Those are, see, and, did you notice the last words in the example rhyme? Did you see the two A lines rhyme with each other while the two B lines rhyme? If you did, that's cool. Anyway, because that's the thing of A lines. Now. Number forms. Okay, time for math. Number forms. So right here on my left is standard form. Standard form means writing it like the common way. Yeah. See, so it, you just use the numbers 7, 4, 5, 6. And then right here, right down there, is word form. 7,456. You will write them in words. Like seven, you write the word seven, then thousand, you know. And then here is expanded form, right there. Expanded form. It's like the number, you will pull it apart, then you can see all its parts. There. So you will type seven. So, like, you will write or type 7,000 plus 400 plus 56. So that's expanded form. That's number form. Social studies. The Trojan horse. Have you ever been tricked by someone? The city of Troy certainly was tricked during the Trojan War when they thought the Greek army had sailed away in defeat, leaving behind a huge wooden horse. What they didn't know as they as they wheeled their prize inside the city gates was that there were 30 soldiers and two spies inside that force. That night, as the citizens of Troy slept, the Greek army returned and the soldiers in, that were inside the force opened the gates to let them in. So Troy was destroyed. They got defeated. Even today, People talk about a Trojan horse, a way to describe a trick or a strategy that secretly lets something destructive inside a secure place. For instance, there are computer viruses called Trojan viruses because they are welcomed through a computer through a seemingly safe procedure like opening an email, opening an email attachment. Click. For instance, yeah. A person thinks they're opening a safe attachment, but they are secretly letting in a virus that can destroy the files and the computer. Science. Monocots and dicots. Monocots and dicots are two categories of flowering plants based on the number of cotyledons, or seed leaves, present in their seed. Monocots. Monocots have only one cotyledon in their seed and often have parallel vein leaves and flowers with three petals. Examples of monocots include lilies, orchids, and grasses. Dicots. Dicots have two cotyledons in their seed and typically have veins with netted veins, I meant leaves with netted veins, and flowers with four or five petals. Examples of dicots include roses, tomatoes, and oak trees. These two categories are important in plant classification and are useful in understanding the structure and characteris characteristics of different plants. Here is an example. The monocot seed is a corn, a corn seed, and the dicot is a bean seed. So here, the monocot, you can see that it has a seed coat, an endosperm, a seed, only one cotyl cotyledon, a leaf sheet, First, true leaves, embryonic root. Yeah, that's when it's a seed. And when it starts to sprout, 
you will see its first leaf, first leaf and leaf sheet. And if you look, uh, if you take it out, you can see like, like little roots at the seed. And here, and then this is when it's starting like to grow bigger already. So it will have parallel veins, a leaf sheet, and fibrous roots. So it's a lot already, like that. And it's but it just groups in one. And the dicot. It will also have a seed coat, also first two leaves, also has an endosperm, but it, but this time it has two cotyledons. It's a bean tree. And then when it is it was starting to sprout, this is, you will see it had the two cotyledons and the two leaves and some roots starting. Then when it's bigger, you it the dicot will have net like veins, withering cotyledons, and taproot.